Look, man. Where? Oh, I see. Wow. Oh, my. Bowen, look over there. Wow, is that oh, culture? Uh, yes. Oh, my goodness. Oh, wow. Yeah. Las Culturistas. Ding dong, Las Culturistas calling. <laughs> That's right. Don't adjust your dials. It's just Bowen today. Matt is taking a well-deserved break. Very well-deserved. I mean, you all know it's fine. He just had so much fun at Kelly Clarkson in Vegas. I could not join him because I was at home losing eight pounds to a bacterial infection. It's all good. It's all good. Oh, and our my guest got me a bagel burger <laughs> and you want to know something i didn't even open the bag to see what it was or what it looked like because i guess what did not have an appetite <laughs> swallowing felt like daggers i threw it in the garbage isn't that <laughs> terrible sorry greta thunberg <laughs> well anyway um i mean let's just get right into it our guest is one of the greats muse status even to me at least to my mind what i think i just think i think she's a America's muse, in a way. She's on her live and in the flesh tour this summer. Upcoming dates, August 25th in Portland, August 26th in Seattle at the Thing Fest, <laughs> September 7th at the Hopscotch Music Festival in Raleigh, September 8th in D.C., September 9th in Pittsburgh. That's the Beyonce makeup show for the Renaissance <laughs> tour people. So we're sorry she canceled, but Sarah's coming into town. And, of course, September 10th in Philly and September 13th in L.A. I think I got those dates right. That, uh, we can confirm this is all from memory. This is all from memory because guess what? I love our guest so much. And you must go see her on tour. Seeing this person live is, I think, a pretty religious experience. I remember the first time I saw this girl and I thought, I'm going to be crying to her on Thursdays about my sketch being pulled. <laughs> I know. We can't talk about the show that we're on together because of this <laughs> damn strike, these double strikes. But, um, you know, you know where to find her. You know her. You love her so much. She really is one of the great minds, people, <laughs> styles, aesthetic legends of the world and generation. <laughs> Everyone welcome Sarah Squirm! Well, somebody did their damn homework tonight. Oh, honey, I love to go home and write, write, write on my little workbook. Hi, Sarah. If you put a gun to my head and said, what are your tour dates and tell me the days and tell me the venues, I would not be able to do honey, that. Honey, well, you're, you're, you're living it. You're, you're up there performing. You don't, you don't have time to worry about dates. Well, you, you, I, I'm hosting I, a damn show where I, I have a guest on and I need to sort of get up to Steve. You're giving Palm Pilot vibes today. Palm Pilot vibes? <laughs> I don't like the sound of that. Did you have one? No, did you? I, we, I remember we got we got the Costco version, the, the right. budget Costco version, and it was a P.O.S. <laughs> hey! Hey! Sorry, Palm. <laughs> you, you, you didn't slay until the trio. You didn't have one? <laughs> no, because don't you need it to schedule? Your, your, did your dad have one, your parents? I I'm don't sorry, think I made it, so. I made it a, gender, a gendered thing. <laughs> Oh, you don't think my school teacher mother had a Palm Pilot to be scheduling one one's homework and one's quizzes? That would be cunty <laughs> if she did. If mom was serving Palm Pilots down the house boots. Down the house boots. I want whatever bacterial infection you had. D tell me more. Yeah, I want it. I just want to cleanse. You want to? <laughs> I do feel like reborn. Like I was. I, I like. I think I'm coming out of this being like I'm never smoking a cigarette ever again in my life. A cigarette. That's interesting. Like a, you know how like a pregnancy craving. It's like I'm never gonna eat garlic again or something like that. You had a bacterial. That's craving. a craving. <laughs> <laughs> What's the opposite of a craving? I don't know. An anti craving. An anti craving. Get that it's away from me. me. Hi. <laughs> That's really what. I just like thirty seconds, like thirty milliseconds. It's an A to C. Later. No, <laughs> it's an A to C. You're laughing too much at me because you're. I haven't been live in the flesh with you actually. I a couple, know. And a oh, man. Oh my god. Oh, and you're making me laugh. And you're... you were making me feel shy. Why? Because you, you were going like, this next person coming to the stage is the muse. She's the icon. She's the moment. And I was Don't, getting you... shy and I was giggling. But you know, this is how I feel about. It. This is not a, f a discovery for you. Well, and not you know, for the listeners at home, one of the best compliments I've ever received in my life, my short life, barely legal <laughs> life on this planet, <laughs> is that you said that the short that I made was a visual feast live on Las Culturistas. Live on Las Culturistas. But that was back when we were on Zoom and like we didn't really know each other that well. But that was like, I put that in my hat as the nicest compliment I've ever received. And that was live on Las Culturistas. But I've given you at least 
a baker's dozen more better compliments. But there's something about the texture. As so, I, we didn't know each other that well, yeah. and for you to just come right out and say what you made was a visual feast, I said, so you do know me better than I know myself, actually. But you knew that about <laughs> yourself. No, but sometimes you just it. need to put words to the paper and to the uh-huh. ear. Yeah, no, totally, for sure, totally, hundred percent. Now, I. I, I, where does this come from? This because no, oh, you, you, no, th- no. This, this no, 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 no. no. <laughs> this, this is a compliment that I was. This is a compliment that I feel like this is the most accurate compliment I've ever given you, which was something I, I told you the other day. Which is, you're the person who is the most attuned to, literally, like in antiquity when people would describe like genius, it would be like. It's like the like the root word is jinn. Like it's a genie. It's like a fucking demon a in the walls, and it's like you commune with the demon in the walls, and it's like, and it's kind of a liberating thing because whatever work you make, whether it's great or bad, it's like you can't take all the credit for it. You I'm know? closing my eyes right now to erase you. And what do you mean? Even, so I don't even hear because the, you, you just said the biggest know couple that's on the planet. True. Well, well, you're sure. <laughs> Sorry, okay, I'm being, I'm being, I'm being alone. No, you're being sweet. No. Well, no, I do sometimes feel like that oftentimes creativity can be a demon that does possess you. Yes. Because the worst feeling, actually, this is something Jack Benzinger taught Jack. me. Which is that sometimes I do feel plagued by like, oh my God, I just had an idea, but I don't have a pen and paper to write it down. And right. actually, I'd rather die than be in this situation right now. And Jack said, if you ever have an idea, yeah. and I'm outing him right now. We love Jack Benzinger. Jack Benzinger. Readers, Katie's publicist, <laughs> finalist. Check him out. He's he is a good one. He is a good. He's one to watch. Would he's you say? one to watch. You would say <laughs> he when he has an idea and he can't write it down because he's being possessed by the demon. Yes, he goes like this. He holds on to it, and so then like whatever. Whenever the movie's over, because he couldn't write it down during the movie, he goes, "Why are my fingers like this?" Oh yeah, I'm holding on to that that idea, and he remembers it. He's a genius. I, did I just out him? Like, that's like one of the most intimate, vulnerable things about a person, how you hold on to your idea. But I don't think that's like a n- naked sort of exposition, though. I right. mean, we, we, we can ask him after. Permission. Do I have consent to out your creative process? And then if he says no, then we're cutting this. Cut it. But if you're if if you're what if you're seeing this at home, if you're listening to this, in is your that car, amazing? That's incredible. Like you're in the shower, you're all suds up. You couldn't possibly write something down. You're completely wet. And then does he tend to? Okay, so so for, so for people who are listening who can't see, um, it's what what Jack Bensinger does is he puts his fingertips together, his index and his thumb. Oh, right, I forgot a podcast together. isn't a visual medium. We forget all the time. <laughs> and but he he puts his tips together just to like kind of like at, at, kind of like not quiet coyote, but the opposite of quiet coyote, where it's index and thumb. And what could you possibly be talking about about a quiet coyote? This is quiet coyote. And who? Is she? This this is for classrooms. This is like a second grade, like quiet <laughs> oh, coyote. One, yeah, two, yeah, yeah. three eyes on me. Yes, um, yes, yes. Drop see? everything and read. You could be teacher. I could be teacher. You we could... should be teaching. Because these girl these girlies need to know. These girls <laughs> they need to be know. taught. You would be what what grade would you teach? I would teach the, the oldest that you could be. That is the bravest answer you could be. Because I want to come in and be like every single thing you've been taught is wrong. And you need to go back and respect your mothers of history. <laughs> <laughs> that is so brave. I know. You're fe- you, this is how I know you're fearless. No, no. But here's the thing. I think it's also because that is like the age demographic that I feel the most like I need to get to. Like you look to your left and you look to your right at Sarah Squirm live and in the flesh and you are not seeing the, those age of people. I'm telling you that. That's and But you, you want them? <laughs> I want them. I want them. Because doesn't that make you feel, don't you get all the like, like uh-huh. twenty year olds and like the nineteen year olds listening in, tuning in. I, th- I, I think they don't like us. What do we have to do to get them to like us? I'm not like too concerned. I'm impressed. <laughs> to impress. <laughs> I I feel like they're okay. They're fine. I feel like if they if they like us, they'll find us. But I feel like, but I'm in terms. This is interesting that you're connecting. Great, like I'm going you, you, want these, you want these students <laughs> to be in your audience because, but, but I also understand that like younger kids, 
younger kids already appe- like they already like love you because they're like because they colorful, the colors. shiny. Uh-huh. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> Mama. Mama. You're a baby. I'm baby. Gotta love me. Gotta but, love you. But you know, there have been like 14 year olds in my audience this summer that the parents took them, and I have open assholes on the screen right. during my show, and I kind of stand there and I go, should I huh. say something? <laughs> I feel like when because it's the poster is a trigger warning. There's an right. apple on it. There's some blood on it. No, it's Sarah Squirm. You would think it's gonna. I know, but I do feel guilt. Of course. No, I've created a traumatic experience for the family. I was just at dinner with a father of adolescence. Go on about this. It was Michael Cruz Kane, wonderful comedian, and he was talking about taking his kids to see someone's movie that's coming out. We I can't say what. But it's pencils down. We're on strike. Pencils down. And acting drama masks down as well. <laughs> <laughs> acting drama masks. They should have put that on shirts. Oh, acting drama masks down acting as well. Dra- acting drama masks down as well. I got an invite to, well, I can't even say, to something that you're in. Ah, and I, yes. and I can't partake. No, none of us can be partaking. Well, I think they were, oh, no, they were, they were inviting me to have the screener dropped. Got it. Do you think I should, do you think I should do it? Just to bear witness. Just to bear witness. And you don't have to like show up. This is okay. This is this is okay. Tell me if this is annoying. This Say. is the shakiest thing, which is that Sarah is in stop, something. Stop, stop, stop. But we we, we stop, can't stop, talk. Stop, but we can't stop, talk about it. We can't talk about it. Right, right, right. You no, know? I'm going to stop, stop. You're you're embarrassing. <laughs> Stop, stop it. Stop. 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 <laughs> but Take wait, me out to dinner for a how, 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 how do we get on this? Oh, oh. guilt. Mm. I think the parents are like, I don't care. Because they're like, they've seen everything on the internet. And There's the nothing... kids have seen everything on the internet. And they've right. heard everything under the sun. Right, right, turn right, off the light. Right, right, turn off the light. I mean, I just, like, can you imagine having the access that the, these children be having? What was the lewdest thing that I had ever seen? Grow it, well, well, right? Because like you, you, you'd seen like a Cronenberg film at, by the time you were like twelve. I saw The Shining when I was eleven, and I threw up. Girl. <laughs> <laughs> what part? What part did you throw up at, old lady? I didn't understand the the blowjob. Yeah, because I didn't, and I didn't know what it meant. Like he's like in a dog costume or a bear costume, uh-huh, uh-huh. and it, that was the image that kind of stuck with me as an after image oh behind the God. closed eyelids. And I threw up. I was scared. That is that is a little unsettling. Isn't if you it? don't know what it is, your your brain literally at that age can't fill in the gaps, and you're like nothing can fill in that space. Totally. So I have nothing to do but empty myself. Yes. Oh my God. Up. Say that, Bowen. We need to talk about the fear of empty. Go I now. Think it, I think it's what governs everything. Go, please, go and start now. It's go. what, like, fucking... It's what, like, that feeling post-orgat, post-nut is uh, about, like... That feeling when. That feeling when you're, like, you've just... You nutted and you go, I Even feel awful. Even though I'm craving empty right now, like, you talking about this bacterial infection. <laughs> I'm craving the purge. I want to start at zero. So then, but this, this, this is a good thing because you want, you, you fetishize the empty, yes. which is, which no one does. Oh. So the fear of empty is like fucking like what we experience every summer. It's like, I got mm. nothing going on. I, I, I have a fucking breakdown every summer. Totally. hundred percent. Um, fear of empty is having a, a light show, let's say. Yes. Total. Well. Or I don't, it's not, it's not quite that. I'm kind of yes, extending this. No, I know what you mean. But like, I am, cra- now that we, never in my life have I like, I'm like, I have a job. And so I, well, I don't actually, because I'm, I'm pencils down. We're pencils down. down. <laughs> Drama masks acting down. <laughs> <laughs> the curtain the theater is closed. It's, it, the, the theater is dark on a Monday. The theater is dark on Monday. But now that as someone who works and is busy, I crave an, an empty, open schedule and I fantasize about going on a long bohemian walk. Yes. And just having my little thoughts. And this time hasn't really counted, has it? No, it hasn't. Why, I wonder? I don't know. Right, right, right. Fear of empty. Is there a book I can read about this? Yes. Button? You would love it. <laughs> what? And that's the name of the book. Yes. You would love it. It's called You Would Love It. It's called Animal Joy. Mm. And it's it's about laughter. And it's so And what do we always say? 
Laughter. Laughter is the best oh, medication. You know who makes me laugh more? No one makes me laugh more than Mr. Bowen. Mr. B. That's not true. Mr. B. Why? Thank you. But I think someone who makes us as a duo laugh more than anybody is Matt Rogers. I can't even. I, te- I there have been many a time when I text Bo and, I, and I'm I say I'm currently listening to Las Culturistas right now, laughing my literal ass <laughs> off. <laughs> I and I think it's I think I'm just gonna say I'm doing okay right now, flying solo. But you're Matt, holding space. Matt's the one who really drives the damn laughs. You know what I'm saying? Well, b- because today this today we're doing a TED talk on the fear of empty. <laughs> Yes, yes. So that, like, that is the laughs will come later, but we're being Bowen serious. We're being today. Bowen serious. But I love nothing more than to talk with you about this shit. You have such a connection to every part of this the instrument, the, generate, the generative process of it. Like, I'm like, Sarah is. Can I be telling you, you about things that are unlocking me, actually? Lately? Tell me voice lessons because there are things in your throat that you have no idea about. Actually, you are you have control over your voice in a way that many people do not. And stand up, be counted. <laughs> and use your voice. Wait, tell me. You there's just like I've been taking voice lessons and I'm learning to scream but voice lessons from Melissa Cross, Scream Coach to the Stars. <laughs> and there are you're really good at screaming without breaking the instrument. Without hurting the instrument. I have no control, but I, I'm blessed you with do. screaming. I, I can scream. I love screaming, especially at work. I love screaming. Yes. Um, but you and thank con- God I have I suffer no consequences. What? Because you have a connection to your throat chakra that not many people have. That's why you're not getting hurt. I close my eyes. I think blue. I think blue. And I, <laughs> is that I, true? Well, is, not not always. But if I want to align my chakras, the first one I go for is is blue. Is is throat. And that's why you don't have difficulty expressing yourself. I do. Or do you? I do. I do. It's inflamed sometimes, you see. Interesting. You see. You see. <laughs> this is, is interesting to me. This is orange, which is sacral. Are you. And that, that's lower. Solar plexus. Oh, no, 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 no. Sacral. Which one's sacral? Root, sacral, solar plexus, heart, throat, third eye. Ooh, I'm going to be needing better yeah. connection with my root. I'll tell you that. My root, my root needs to be uprooted. <laughs> okay. Nothing's my, been down there. My root has been blowing in. Out the toilet lately. I'll yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so bacterial infection in full effect. Uh, oh, of course, hundred percent. Well, maybe that is what's going. No, did I tell you I went to the gastrointestinal doctor and no. he was like, did every test on the planet, put tubes down my throat, put tubes up the throat, down your throat. He put, I yes, I got an endoscopy. Can you believe something like this? Did it inspire anything? Yes, it did. Oh. You might have to see the show to find out. <laughs> but the, he literally, and I respect this. He went, I don't know what to tell you. You're just Jewish. Can you respect that? Excuse me. I can't respect and that. And he's Jewish, so we With, can say uh, that. Okay, but still, he but it's should an incur- know better. To say that you have an incurable disease, which is being Jewish. <laughs> and he went to school. He gets paid so much money to say, to go beyond you're Jewish. Well, but I actually kind of appreciated it because he was like, you actually don't have a problem. The problem is so deep within you that it's like <laughs> inseparable from your <laughs> spirit. <laughs> No, I don't yeah. buy it. He was like basically like your disability is that you're Jewish. No, <laughs> I don't like that. I do like <laughs> it because it's like you're not crazy. You have this. Okay, you know okay. What I'm so saying? as long as you're okay, you know what I'm saying. As, you know what I'm saying. You know what I'm saying. As long as you're like at ease. Well, I'm as as much at ease as I can be. As someone who's blowing their back out diarrhea style in the toilet. <laughs> <laughs> what? I've been blowing my back out diarrhea style on the really? toilet for my whole adult life. And really? I'm, I'm worried that it's it's something. I'm going to tell you something and nobody in this room is going to like it. Tell me. Stress. Don't you hate that when the doctor is like, it's stress. And you're like, yeah, well, I know that. Right. It's like my, my doctor telling me, like, you're Jewish. I'm like, yeah, <laughs> I know. <laughs> Bone Yang, I hate to tell you this, but doctor's orders, you're Jewish. I know that. <laughs> okay? God. God. I need to get to the bottom of 
voice lessons though. <gasps> tell me, tell me so more. So it's just okay. Both. I'm gonna say something that's not gonna make sense. Okay. Because it's 11 a.m. The witching hour. It's too early it's, for, it's, for 11 a.m. Is the witching. <laughs> that's a rule of culture number 67. 11 a.m. The witching hour. God, Go. I love that. I love when you guys do that. <laughs> Last culture <Three> stuff. <laughs> Ding dong. Someone's at the door. I hope it's my bagel burger. <laughs> oh my god. I say that every episode. Well, I can't believe you threw it out. I'm sorry. <laughs> you could put it in the fridge. I'm not like that. I don't. <laughs> no, no. Fridge is not the way. You know what I'm saying? No, 100. No, I'm saying. I'm saying. I. Well, it's just I'm unlocking different parts of my throat that I didn't know that I could use to express myself, and I can make sounds in ways that I I didn't even know about. And how you make sounds? You know how they say like language shapes understanding. One thousand. One million percent. Couldn't agree more. Couldn't agree more. <laughs> <laughs> the tube in which you use to express language could actually shape your understanding of language, which, which can actually shape your understanding of ideas, if this makes sense, if you can follow me. I'm Capiche, so Caprendo. with you, Capiche. And then, I mean, not to brag, I've also been taking Polanyi's classes. And does that affect the tube you use? Well, because it's like, they're like, actually, your challenge for today is you have to move this specific muscle that you didn't even know existed. And you're like, wait, that's actually, the fact that now I can access this muscle that I didn't know I existed... Like, now it could be weaponized as a tool for laughter. It's like therapy. It's like once I have an awareness of the, the issue, I can either solve or weaponize. <laughs> you know? <laughs> and you know that my therapist broke up with me, of course. <laughs> do we do we want to do you want do we want to get into this? Because I think it's really interesting because this man has done you wrong and we don't have to get into we it. We can get into I don't know how specific we should get into because he can be tracked down easily by the public. But he and he might deserve to be tracked down. He might down. deserve to be tracked. Listen, 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 listen. People just gotta know that he told me that I looked as cute as a pumpkin. This man, <laughs> this man is not appropriate. Is, is, is He's not opinion. appropriate. And by the way, <laughs> cute as a pumpkin. Oh. Um. Okay. Uh, okay. It's uh, sir. <laughs> it's it's July. <laughs> Sure, say cute as a string bean, maybe. String bean. <laughs> Those are adorable. <laughs> cute as a, literally wearing a pumpkin. I was going to say, that, and that is so cute. I know. A Christmas I know. pumpkin? Is there presents inside? I don't really know what her. Doesn't she look. Doesn't it, What do you think this is? I think that's a bear hugging a pumpkin, wearing the, the cap as a head, but it looks <laughs> like it's in the pumpkin. It's a really interesting picture. Well, what did you say that this pumpkin is shockingly red? It's a red pumpkin. It's a red pumpkin. It's a blood pumpkin. <laughs> don't say that in front of her. She can hear. She can hear. I'm so sorry. Wait, we don't, we don't have to talk about him. I just, but, like, he's out there and he's listening tonight. Yeah, and if you're okay. listening, just know you walked out on the best mind pussy of your life. <laughs> <laughs> you can't you can't have this. You can't come from this place though because I think vindictive wanting revenge against my therapist. You can want revenge. I just I don't I I don't think he was the best fit for you in no, the long term. No, of course term. not. Did it help when I <laughs> I texted him I said I just need you to know I am having constant intrusive thoughts that I am at the bottom of the ocean in the Titan submarine when everyone's like where's the sub where's the sub you're like I'm in it <laughs> I was literally <laughs> like I'm in it and I would like be on stage like in the middle of like my hour and I would just be like I'm sorry everybody I have to just take time to acknowledge that I am currently at the bottom of the ocean yes <laughs> like. Like, all of a sudden, I'd be dropped into, bing, I'm at the bottom of the ocean. That's huge of you, though. I Is it? To be yes. such an empath that I was I was, I was, was on the sub with them. It's not, you're, I don't think it's that you're an empath. Sure, you're an empath. You're connecting, you're connecting to their experience. You're, like, you're absorbing it as your own in some way. Sure, sure. I was making it about me. Go on, go on. No, making a giant tragedy about me. Go on, go it's on. It's that you're so aware of your own state and surroundings that you're like, guys, I'm on the Titan submersible. Please, I know I'm on stage right now, but we need to just take a second <laughs> to just acknowledge. To just acknowledge, and I think that's amazing. I just like couldn't escape, and neither could they. Neither well. could they. Well, 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 you. Maybe, well, do you feel like you've escaped? I have to say, actually, I was released when it when they was, died. When they died. When we when we well, discovered, when we, when that, we they, discovered yes. that they died. So it's more about like a like a collective consciousness. Yes, I was tapping into sort of a, a a symbology in the collective unconscious. Wow. But then when I would like t I texted him like I'm having intrusive thoughts that I'm in I'm yes. at the bottom of the ocean. What would he say? He would 
he would like kind of like stoke the fire and send me like a bunch of like crazy conspiracy paintings done by like a schizophrenic outsider artist about Titanic submarine conspiracy theories connecting it to <laughs> wars in the Middle East. And I was like, this is actually not helping. <laughs> and this is what I'm saying is that that's a perfectly illustrative thing where he totally. was not being a he was good not giving the give. care. He was not giving the give as, as Sarah likes to say. And that I've kind of copped for my own in my own vocabulary. I mean, who could? I, of course, I'm not the birth mother. Who of couldn't this. cop? <laughs> who couldn't cop? You know ugh, what? I want to say things about culture that I shouldn't say. Say muzzle me. No, I'm not gonna. I will. I, me. I will look into my eyes. On God, I would never muzzle you. I would never ever silence. I just am gonna say something that's gonna get me. Say sent. it. I'm no. gonna. It's gonna get me sent. It and you probably can cut won't. This. We, we've, we'll, we'll cut it if we, if we feel like someone explain to me the Eros tour. You want okay? We'll, <laughs> we'll explain to you the Eros tour. Do you want to go there, girlfriend? Girlfriend, I would love to go there. Girlfriend, you are so on. Girlfriend, you're so on. <laughs> By the way, she. We need to talk about Marianne because <laughs> well, she, we're voting for her. We're voting for her. Yeah, of course. Period. <laughs> well, we're actually working in the cabinet. I'm, I'm doing her and Cornell West. <laughs> I'm voting for two. You can. You can. Okay, so. <laughs> This is okay. Eras tour. What 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 questions do you have? It's Taylor Swift. She's up there doing three and a half hours of songs, which you have to respect. Which you have to respect. That is that is the one undeniable thing that I think no matter where you're coming from, you can go. That's that's something you have to respect. You have to respect that. But what else? By the way, I think you are setting people free. You are giving fucking Moses right now. And there there will be a fucking... What but is there it? will be re- repercussions for what I'm saying. I'm say. saying that... But then guess what? Guess what's waiting for you at the end of this? A treat. A Passover. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I just am like... Okay, listen. I got re... What? No. Don't be afraid. You're muzzling yourself. I'm not muzzling. You know what I'm saying? Did you see me black out and go somewhere else? <laughs> were you Were you in the submersible? <laughs> well, I just got really distracted, actually, by how, like, the crazy lights are in the iHeartRadio Yeah, the, light, the lights do be crazy. Doobie uh, doobie. They doobie doobie. I just... What are we talking about? Yeah. Give me Madonna. Give are me... We go, are we we're going, going to, to the celebration tour. Madonna, but, if you're listening to this, we're going to be there at Celebration Tour, front row. Her dates are crazy, though. It's, like, right in the middle of work week. Pre- assuming we're back at work, it's, like, after read-through, and then Thursday night, and then Friday night, and, and then Saturday. It's, like, well, we can't... Like, I just, like, this is what really pisses me the f- This go, is what I have to go, say about go, culture, go, last go culture says. Come on. Would stop making fun of Madonna. That is period. your mother. That is your mother. That is your mother, period. And all throughout history, throughout time, throughout every era, everyone's been mad at Madonna, making fun of Madonna, mean to Madonna. That's the genius of we Madonna. We almost lost her. We almost. <laughs> and it was fucking scary. Was. And I go, we need to be remembering who the stars are. And it's celebration tour period. It's celebration tour period. We're going. We're going. We're going. Okay, we're okay, going. Okay, so you're 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 confused that Eras Tour is not celebration tour. I just am like, if she, is she really our generation's Madonna? You know what I'm she's saying? She's not. She's not. But that is how it she's, seemingly she's to be our perceived. generation's. Um, she's her own thing, and I think she's like. I know this is gonna. This is about to sound crazy sauce. Okay, I'm gonna. Crazy I'm style, on the random go sauce with train with you. She is our generation's. Beatles, in that the the breadth of this of the genres are wide. It's a wide berth of genres. It's that the mania around her is like so. You're saying there's Beatle mania around her. There's Beatle mania around one person, oh. in a way that's different from like Elvis or fucking like you know like anyone between Elvis and Madonna. It's like people are connecting on like a songwriting level and like on an Im- on an aesthetic level that is like neither here nor there right. it's like but it's like relatable in a way that I can't I do not want my superstars to be relatable at all I, I want to be aspirational to the point of like they are aliens walking the planet totally. and it's like you can't even like <laughs> How could you even aspire to be Madonna? How could you aspire to be a god among men? Exactly. I have a very healthy relationship, I think, with 
Gaga, let's say. Whereas, sure. like, she she will always, I, I need her to be an alien to me at all, to, like, for, for the rest of her, and, our lives. And God, and she is remaining to be alien. She's remaining to be alien. Like, she, I think that is, like, and that is, guess commercial. what, that's a, that is something that is a model that is established by Madonna. Right. And even, like, Michael Jackson, you know, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. It's like Michael Jackson will, it's like, we're not going to have that. The, per, the person closest to that is, I guess, maybe Beyonce right now, where it's like, she comes out on stage and people start fainting. Totally. Like, we're not going to get that necessarily with anyone else. You know, and what I want to say about Michael Jackson, <laughs> <laughs> you, this, can, this can be cut. I just think it's like true. How do I say this? No, no, no. Without... Say, say whatever you're gonna say, because 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 we have we have a million corollaries. Totally, totally, Jackson. totally. It is like unbelievable that that person yes. was the most beloved human being on the planet. It's crazy, and he was a fucking freak. Yes. And that that is the last time a true freak. freak. <laughs> no, I know, <laughs> like, I know, I know. Like, and <laughs> we are not. By the way, we are not last culturistas, uh, 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 excluding the things that he has done. No, I, I think you're. Yeah, I think you know, it's, it's part. But of it the is like amazing that it's like I want to live in a world where the biggest freak on the planet was the most famous is person. the most famous person on the universe. I know, I know. Well, like, what are we've lost something? We've lost something, and people aren't even like they don't make freaks like that anymore. <laughs> they don't make freaks like that anymore, and there there won't be stars. I don't think there will ever be someone like that who is like the New York Times did this whole thing where I think it was on still processing where it's like this is like right when like the Neverland documentaries were coming out it's like mm-hmm. you can't really cancel Michael Jackson because he's baked into every facet of pop culture totally you know what I'm saying like if we're gonna talk about Madonna let's talk about Michael where it's like every dance move melodic structure piece of clothing that a pop star wears is the root is Michael yeah you know what I'm saying the root is Michael also, maybe maybe Elvis if you go like a, a layer d- like totally. below, but it, the root is generally Michael Jackson. Totally. You know what I'm saying? And, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and it's like, what are you going to do? Not play pop music at bar mitzvahs? No, of course you're going to play pop music at bar mitzvahs. Of course. And then you explain to your kids, you go, well, he was, you know, troubled and he, he caused a lot of harm. And- are you not supposed to like play off the wall? No. <laughs> Well, well, I, I think just you can't. Well, I think you're you're allowed to do whatever you want. Nobody knows what I do in the privacy of my own home on my kitchen Sonos. Were you sent to? <laughs> were you sent to Sonos? I was sent to Sonos. You were sent to Sonos, and I call it my kitchen Sonos. My kitchen Sonos, it, and that's a Sona. Oh, that's a Sonos era, I think. What do you mean? Is it called an era? Oh. I think it's called Eras Tour. I'm in my Sonos Eras Tour. Do you have any other questions about Eras Tour? Uh, Do you know what I mean? Yeah. (laughs) You know what I mean. I know what you mean. What? And just, okay. Yeah. Is it the lyricism and the, what is getting you there? What is getting you there? It's the storytelling. What's getting you there is that Taylor Swift is the perfect, like, artist who is also at the same time you know it's like those dolls that like where you flip the skirt it's one doll you flip the skirt down it's another wow. doll you flip wow. she, she's the perfect person to switch from I'm pop star to I am also the surrogate for the audience so this is what's interesting I do not want to see my life at all reflected in anything. Do you know what I'm saying? Where it's like, I don't want to s- watch Real Housewives. Well, you're, where you're the- a unique girl. No, no, no. I'm a scape girl. I'm fantasy girl. But and, but and I'm saying, if you see yourself represented on, on a stage like that, then it's like, well, fuck you. You're doing my thing. Ah, that's interesting. My right? thing, pumpkin spice latte. Pumpkin spice and cute as pumpkin. <laughs> <laughs> I just am like, why would you want to see your like mediocre, boring life reflected back to you on a stage? I 100% agree. 
it's like my, I came to this show so I can forget. It's like when we watch Real Housewives. Yes. And it's like I want to see such oppressive wealth uh-huh. that I am transported away from my shitty one bedroom apartment that stinks a little bit because I burned the incense to the core. To the core. And, and like <laughs> I don't want to see a fraction of a sliver of my life when I'm watching these women. See, but you're so attuned to like that separation in your life. And I think most human beings on this earth are not. And that's my, that is what I have to say about culture currently as a lost culturista. Truly. The culture has got to change. So totally. <laughs> like you are, you, you can be like, there's nothing more whole about a person than knowing this is who I am. And these are the things that I am not. And therefore I can more healthily engage with the things that I am not. Right. Oh well, when you say know. it like that, I guess a new therapist just dropped his poem. This guy, I'm gonna say, was not good. This was not a good guy. You, know you, you Am I allowed to say that? Yes. He was not good. Yes, and I would. So I was in dream analysis, and I was he like, was he the dream analyst? He was, of course. There are better ones out there. Oh, or, or, or here's my new thought. Here's my new take. Okay, maybe we don't need to be doing the dream analysis. Sarah, maybe, maybe, but was okay. Was he go, was he coming at it from? You're gonna love this book, by the way, Animal Joy. Was, Animal Joy. Because was he doing Animal it? Joy. Was 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 dream analysis? <laughs> was he doing it from the like the, the Freudian school? Jungian, where, huh? Jungian. Jungian. Mm. Is it about like sublimation and like condensation and like and? It was like I'd be like, ugh, I had a dream where. Well, okay. Where like one thing replaced, like one thing stands in for another thing. It's not that like, oh, I had a sex dream about Tom yes. Cruise. I guess I fucking I I'm attracted to Tom Cruise. No, Tom Cruise is standing in for another. Yes, thing. Yes, that's like your super ego goes like way of and, managing. Yeah, the monstrous other and blah blah blah. And it's like, well, maybe I just want to fuck Tom Cruise. Ever thought about that? Ever is that even so that? fucking crazy? No. Well, that's what like I couldn't get my, <laughs> my mind around that. I was my puny little limited like monkey brain couldn't even fathom for one second. It's like, well, maybe I did just want to fuck Tom Cruise and maybe right. I don't need all your fucking crazy bullshit. Maybe so. Maybe so. I, are you, okay, so are, 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 where are you now with this journey? Do you want a new therapist? I do. But then I was also like, I, th- and I'm going to say another thing that'll get me locked up and thrown away with that key. <laughs> I think that there are many therapists roaming these hallowed halls. Who don't deserve it. <laughs> they should be in jail. jail. <laughs> there are so many fucking therapists, and they a lot of them are very stupid, stupid. I know where to start. Yeah. With the the, the calling. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. Real Housewives. Every <gasps> therapist who goes on Real yeah. Housewives, I go go to jail. They're, well, they're not. Do you notice they're not therapists? They, it says right, right, like right. it says like guru or something. Yeah, you know, it's always yeah, yeah. like it's guru. Yeah, it's always guru or like relate. It's like counsel or or you know what I'm saying? <laughs> they're they're or it's like breath and shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> they need, well, Dorinda. Do you remember who was she saying? Dorinda. It didn't say therapist in the lower third. It said like LCS. W, a social worker. <laughs> Ew. Just kidding. We love them. But we love them seriously. We love them seriously. We're, we're banging our pots and pans for them. Still. We're banging pots for them. Uh, 7 p.m. on the dot. But you know, you know, you know what I did on Giselle. I know I do on Giselle Bryant's Instagram every week. What? When Potomac is on. I go, you need to see a therapist who doesn't want to be on TV. You oh, fucking this, idiot. And this is why I'm here today. <laughs> why? Because me and Bowen actually extremely disagree. I'm going to kill you. I'm going to kill you. My. T- Favorite housewives on the planet. You're dead ja- wrong. Zella. <laughs> period. You don't put a face like that anywhere She's else besides TV. She's got a bad TV. face. <laughs> it's the eyes. Look, study the face a little bit more. Cheekbones all wrong. I'd love to. Cartilage on the nose <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> Cheekbones <laughs> towards the heavens to God. Are to you God. kidding me? Filled with thanks to and God. I think she's dressed well. <laughs> Fucking free. <laughs> she- <laughs> exactly. Exactly. That's what I want to be seeing. I don't want to be seeing a shirt and pants. I want to be seeing a 
oh, I, I guess we're, I guess we're hot gluing a feather boa to the neckline of a V-neck T-shirt or whatever the hell. She, I wish she would do that. <laughs> she is out here wearing like V-necks and and yoga pants. But like, and then like a giant like turquoise earrings. Awesome, <laughs> awesome specifics there. Are giant turquoise earrings. I think you're so fucking wrong. I think you're she's the one of the best we have. Stupidest bitch and in the world. And she gets on TV and she goes, "I'm gonna fuck you." All of your lives up. Guess what? See your stupid little lives. I'm gonna ruin them. And guess what? That makes amazing TV. Ramona Singer, doesn't it? The best housewife in history. So <laughs> stupid. Today I came to <laughs> iHeartRadio to defend Michael Jackson and Ramona Singer. And then you're getting all bashful. Like, what is this? <laughs> you uh, supporting openly racist housewives. What is she? She is delivering what no one on the planet could ever deliver. Ramona or Giselle? Both of these women are are missing the part of the human brain that has empathy, compassion, and reason. Right. So they're like... Perfect. There's a pathology there. There's a pathology there that makes basically the most amazing television on the planet. By the end, though, I think people were like fed up. I will not Giselle's still going, but it's like all my YouTube algorithm now is Karen Huger dragging Giselle for 10 <laughs> minutes. Wendy Osefo dragging the Green Iron Bandits for 10 minutes. It's like the internet hates these fucking women, Robin right. and Giselle specifically. Like that is what a scandal makes. And by the way, by the way, Vanderpump Rules, whatever you have to do to get Rachel back on the TV, I think it's done. fucking do it. I don't <laughs> care. Continue to film the season. Continue. Keep the cameras up. My pencils are down. <laughs> My drama masks are down. <laughs> but your cameras are up. The lights are up. The gaffers are laying in wait. A uh, yes. Get her back. I don't care what you have to do. <laughs> Why is everyone forgetting what good TV makes? Tell, tell, what, what, what does good TV make? R- fucking crazy people. Yeah. Who yeah. are insane. Does there need to be a level of exploitation there? Because the, now we're getting into this whole like reality reckoning. It's, it, is, has it happened? I feel like this is all like Bethany paying up the ass for like PR. Well, it's like they, they should be unionized, right? Is that sure. what's happening? That's part of it. But that's what's happened. It's also Bethany like recruiting like Rachel, like everybody to right. be like reality TV bad. But I'm also like, I think you're onto something where you need these kooky, kooky people to be on TV. But anyway, I don't, I, that's as far as I can agree with you. Well, like Carlton. Uh huh. When are we going to get someone like that back? You know what I'm saying? If yeah. we go down this road of like <laughs> only finding people who do not offend the sensibilities. Well, how do you feel about Roni right now? You can be honest, I've, 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 kind, of, I've kind of dragged Roni on this show. I want to gather my words. I want to gather my words I think because we're getting, this is important. We're getting little glimmers of like, it's so funny that Jessel is like our, the closest thing we have to a Ramona. Where it's yes. someone who is just a little disconnected. Something's yes, missing. Yes, there's something amazing about her. Yes, yes. I want to see loathsome human beings on my television. And this is what I'm talking yeah. about, the fantasy. Yeah. In my life, I am not friends with loathsome yes. psychotic individuals. Yes. Well, sort of. But they're, they're just your therapists. Well, I was trying to say that. Ten times, ten times fast. Ten times fast. <laughs> I, it's like, I want to be, wa- I want to be watching the fantasy world. Yes. Of New, this disgusting New York underbelly. I, this is fucking New York City. I want women who have been to Little St. James. Yeah. What is that? Jeffrey Epstein's Pedophile Island. Oh, okay. Okay, <laughs> okay. okay, okay. No, but this, is what I, this is what I was saying. Yeah, yeah. I was saying this like two shows ago. Like, yeah. we had a damn Ranzawill who was oh. in Jeffrey Epstein's contact book. Ghislaine Maxwell yes. took Carol's, the, p- Carol's portrait. author portrait on the back of her grieving book. So when you buy her book about grief... It says photo critic Ghislaine Maxwell. I and mean, that's what I'd be needing to see on my TV. I, this is 100% New of it. York, York fucking, fucking city! <laughs> you need a fucking princess. Yes! You need a Radzewill. Yeah, and you need just like, we are cl- like the wealth in New York City is the most 
evil. You need you need like an old, a little a little flavor of old money. In yes, there. you need old money connected, like, like inbred, a inbred, little bit. like people who like I need like engineers of the war in Iraq. Yes, yes, yes. I one hundred percent agree with you. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? See, this is I can get behind this, especially as it being your like organizing principle around culture. It's like you would want to see an end an architect of the Iraq War. Mm-hmm. As a pop star, <laughs> 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 Do you know what I'm saying? When, when when Bethany says mention it all, mention it all, mention it all, mention it all, mention it all. That's what we need to be seeing. It's like we need. I don't need to be like mildly entertained mm-hmm. by women in high society who haven't. Like it's like I want to see like the violence exposed. I need to. I need Real Housewives to do a mask off on the the rich of New York because what we're getting right now, it's just like nobody's meaning anybody any harm. No harm, no foul. Everybody's being. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's afraid to be like a villain. Yes, and we almost got. We almost got it with Aaron. We almost got it with Aaron because it was revealed that Aaron donated donated to Trump. Act red or whatever it was. And then she's kind of walking it back, and I go, "Don't be walking it back. Let's expose this shine." the light. I think she did expose something in her inadvertently in her language. She said, I she didn't say I never supported Trump. She said I never supported Stop the Steal, which is such a fucking to refer to the insurrection to January 6th as stop the steal, it's like, okay, so then you're at least like So you're acknowledging there was a steal. Well, <laughs> well I'm like, you're at least a little bit couched, like encroached in like Republican fucking totally like, jargon. Totally. So totally. like that is something that I'm a little bit fascinated by. Totally. Or it's like in with Salt Lake City. It yes. was like we found out that Whitney was friends with people who stormed the the Capitol. Yes. <laughs> get get those girls get on the show. Those girls. Salt Lake looks kind of looks like it can be given. (gasps) Meredith Mark was in my dream. Let's do the dream analysis right here and now. I don't don't Uh, remember. You just like zung something like into the back of my. You zung. (laughs) We're going. We're going. (laughs) (laughs) You zunged something into the back of my cerebellum. I just went. Meredith Marks was in my dream. I don't remember why. Oh my god! Are you going to do a show called Cerebellum? Talking about the enter the twisted mind of Sarah uh, Sarah The limbic <laughs> brain of Sarah Squirrel. Your command of the English English language is like beyond anything it's anyone's the immigrant. It's the immigrant. It's the, it's it's the reading immigrant. through the dictionary. Or really eating? No, the- no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I said eating through the dictionary. Eating through the dictionary. Guess I didn't eat enough bagel this morning at Sedell's. At Sedell's. Oh my god, we love Sedell's. Sedell's shouts out. Shouts if, out to Sedell's best bagels in New York City. If period. you hey, if you want to come kill either me or Bowen, we might be there at some time. We come kill us, <laughs> please. Put me out of my misery. I, I need to go. I need to go with you because I've never. I have not been with like friends in a while. What's your bagel order? Just period in general. It's so boring. Bowen, don't talk about my friend Bowen like that. Whole wheat bagel. Whole wheat bit, ba- my God! I know, and then like a scallion cream cheese, maybe, maybe some lox, maybe s- and, and capers. I like capers. You're a high class woman. No, that's you so really that's are. so base. The, a caper, though, my God! I didn't know I was in the room with a billionaire. Yeah. You should be on Real Housewives. I'm, I'm, I fucking engineered the Iraq War. <laughs> say that. I'm Looking making like a pop star. Say that. <laughs> What's yours? Toasted. Mm-hmm. Flat. Sesame. Bagel. This is gonna fucking rock and shock everyone. Tell me. I'm lactose intolerant Jew. I was diagnosed with being Jewish. Can't <laughs> touch cream cheese with a ten foot bowl. And I do not touch this cream cheese surrogate because it kind of reminds me of the ghosts of no. The, the, past. the ghost seeps in. The ghost seeps in. You need to bless the, the cheese. I can't. I have been ordering a toasted flat sesame bagel with peanut. <gasps> Isn't that kind of crazy? No, I love it. Is it? So to order peanut rock. butter at a restaurant, I think that's like child's play. You are punk Stop. rock. Stop. I actually am like very punk rock today in the sense that my hair looks like it has been dragged through the rats you on the sea train. amazing. You were the most stylish person. You are, and people don't know this about Bowen. 
Your sense of design. No. I step into your dressing room and pencils down. We're not promoting the show. Pencils. <laughs> your dressing room is designed to the, like your choice. Like it's like. Shut up. You have one tiny little end table that pulls the room together in a way that I can't even possibly comprehend. You know what I'm saying? It's like, I couldn't just like find a tiny little end table that like pulls the taste yes, together in a room. In Gun a to your head, you'd find one that pulls it together. I don't know. Get on my head, Bowen, please. Please. In this country? <laughs> Dime a dozen. Did you see did you see Barbie and Oppenheimer? I did. <laughs> I did see Barbie and Oppenheimer. I told you this that I call I was like, because everybody was like, oh my god, Barbie, like so my childhood. Yeah. And then everyone was like, oh, the weird Barbie that everyone like drew on, like classic. Like right. and we all had a Barbie that was that. Yeah. And I was like, it wasn't like ringing anything to me. And so I called my mom and I was like, did I have did Barbies? I have a weird bar yeah. And she was, I was like, didn't I have Barbies? I just assumed I had Barbies growing up because uh -huh. it's like, yo, classic. We all had Barbies growing up. My mom was like, I don't think we had a single Barbie in the house. And I was like, I think I implanted Barbies in the house because everybody was like, well, Barbies in the house. Do you think <laughs> that there is something going on where there's like a little Mandela effect uh -huh. situation where. Everyone's like, I loved my Barbies growing up. Cut to, they were never Barbies in the Cut house. to open the files. I don't see a single Barbie blurry in the in the frame in any of these childhood photos. And I was like, I never let you have a fucking Barbie. Are you right. kidding me? Is that your oh my mom? God, I guess I did. Yeah, that was me. Yeah. <laughs> mom, I don't think you sound like that. Well, I've heard your mom. She's, she's a really, she's, she's not really. caustic like that. No, she's a very beautiful, gorgeous woman. Gorgeous woman. Gorgeous woman. I had to check my own nostalgia for Barbie and go, well, I guess I had an Aladdin one. And I was in love with that thing. Uh huh. And then I had two maybe garage sa yard sale Barbies. Totally. And that, and that, those are my sisters. And, and the, my sisters. that is the extent. And like, I'm not going to like retroactively suffuse it with all this meaning and right, you know right. like sh and shit so totally. and, and by the way did not take away from my experience watching the movie you can we can all go into these experiences think especially now that we're gonna i guess we're gonna have more and more brand movies going forward it's like you can go into these things being like oh yeah i had like i i had a couple hot wheels growing up and you can and, and period and it can of end there and it can end there you don't, it's not a contest about who loves Hot Wheels the most. So you're saying toy movies are going to be the new superhero movies. 1,000%. There, now, now with Barbie, there is a new model going forward for like a movie about a, a product that we can get away with being like, isn't this meta and fun? Right. Well, then you guys better be doing movies about twigs and, and <laughs> rubber bands because that's what I was playing with as an intelligent child. <laughs> I can't wait for the Twigs and Rocks movie. <laughs> Honey, let's let's do it. Let's do the Twigs the and Rocks twigs and, and Rocks. Books movie. And <laughs> We're writing a movie, Hollywood. It's called Books. Ever heard of it? <laughs> Fucking babies. I'm done with these movies about toys for children. Because when I was a child, I didn't play with toys. I played with Twigs, Rocks, and Books. <laughs> Such a liar. Obviously, I had toys. I was addicted. <laughs> Talk about Long Island, girl. Would you, you know and I have been what? friends? A hundred percent. I, I don't. You don't think I was like I had a fucking sniper rifle crosshair on all the gay guys in my school? <laughs> <laughs> shing, come to mama. Shing, shing, shing. <laughs> I think what we would have been. I was a theater dork ass. Right. right. Were you a theater dork ass? I was a theater dork ass. I and you, of course, know my famous story. About how, I, <laughs> <laughs> about how I didn't get a part in Into the Woods, and I was part <laughs> I don't know this story. I need to know. Wait, you don't know this story? Tell me. I was like, not to brag, amazing at the track running. <laughs> but I was like, I have to quit the track team to pursue my, my love of the performing arts. Oh my God, you and, and Matt uh, are so like, Oh my same God, movie. he was a Long Island track star. He was a track star. <gasps> Wow. You both of you, th th these are the two Pisces loves. Oh my God, life. he's a Pisces? Yes. And we have the same exact body type. It's like crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God.
my god, I forgot he's a Long Island legend track star. Yeah, both of you. I like quit the track team because I was like, I have to be performing hilarious comedy constantly all the time. Yeah. And I like was a horrible actor, and so I never <laughs> got a part in anything. <laughs> and everybody, my parents were like, you give, you're giving up like possibly a scholarship because of this. And I was like, I literally <sighs> need to be a pro. I'm what was it? What, I'm a storyteller. I'm a performer. Uh, I'm a performer. <laughs> I'm a storyteller. I'm a storyteller. I'm, I'm a seer. And I into the woods of the musical. Mm-hmm. I was not the, not the not the the play, the views. I'm being stupid. No, of course, yeah. and I'm laughing. Of course, no, I'm, that's <laughs> terrible. No, well, into the woods. I I didn't read the the play. I only read the book. <laughs> what? I haven't seen the movie. I only read the book. I only read the book and played with a rock. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I I was cast, gave up my my athlete dreams uh-huh. or whatever, and I was cast as the cor- in the chorus of Into the Woods, yes. which was behind a scrim the entire time. Wait, 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 start over. You were you were in the show, but you were behind the scrim. I was cast. The chorus did not get to be in front of the scrim. That's abominable. <laughs> so that's so. There, rude. I was in silhouette the entire. Production <laughs> behind a scrim, but I. <laughs> I've never heard this. And I just like what I happen to be the most in- annoying individual on the planet, human or earth. And so I went to the costume closet by myself, and I got my own <laughs> costume. <laughs> I, I read a red. I picked it out all by myself. It was a red ball gown with like black lace trim all over it, uh-huh. and I was like, and I made them put me in the playbill. <laughs> Because I was like, oh, this dress is like really Russian and like informed my character. (laughs) I made made them put me in the playbill as Sarah Sherman, the Russian Tsarina. (laughs) Because I was like living my fantasy. Yes. And then it was like everyone else is in the chorus, but like I made my own character for myself, like in the chorus behind the scrim. (laughs) You know why you did that? Because I needed it. Attention! There was just like a gaping void in my soul. Because you're my- a fucking star. <laughs> no. You're a fucking mega that star. is star behavior. And I will not be silent. I, I will be the <laughs> Russian Zarina. Not one line, but I have like an accent. <laughs> <Russian> Zarina. <laughs> and I had a fur cuff. <laughs> and behind the screen that no one saw. <laughs> And I had the accent, like kind of like wow. In wait, do you do you, do you have the accent now? <laughs> I mean, if it's, I had it's to, in there. a gun to head, I am the Russian Zarina. Yes, <laughs> standing O. Thank you, thank you. Oh my god, oh, so that, was, that was my dream. So we would have been friends. We would have been friends, unless would've... you wouldn't have liked the annoying bitch who was like, actually, I'm actually the Russian Zarina. I'm not like you people. Oh no, I would have fully supported you. You would have stood. I'd be like, guys. What's the past sense of stand? Stood. Stood. <laughs> I would have standed and gone, guys. <laughs> guys. Sarah seriously. is the Russian Zarina. <laughs> if you call her the Zarina, that's n- incomplete. She's the Russian Zarina. Do you want to hear actually the most? I I can't stop talking because now you're just on the lock. No, something. P- please. Do you want to hear the most damning thing on this side of the? Yes, the side of the the Rhine. The Rhine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that, say that ten times fast. <laughs> I did a show in Houston, Texas, not to brag, a couple weeks ago. I love. Love that. Totally. Oil money. Kind of cool. No, is that Dallas? I think it's all of Texas. Totally. Houston's oil money. Houston's oil money. Houston, Shouts out. Are you from Houston? Respect. (laughs) I want, and and not very good shows for Sarah there. No, just kidding, just kidding. Hey. Hey. (laughs) Don't talk to my friend Sarah Houston like that. (laughs) Like, there was a guy in the front row sitting at my Houston show holding, I saw at the corner of my eye, I go, that's our elementary school yearbook. Oh, that, see, but that's <laughs> scary on him. And I went, something zung in the back of the cerebellum, and I went, oh, and he, I was like, is that our elementary school yearbook? And he handed it to me, and I signed his yearbook. I actually can't even say this out loud. I might as well be... Why is that damning? in between the eyes execution style for what I'm about to tell you. Okay, well, because is, is, is this the damning part? I signed his yearbook. I know my signature isn't worth a cent, but when I'm famous, it'll pay your rent. And this I, was back in the day you said that? This was in elementary school. 
That's so funny, Sarah. That's not I need damning electrocution. At all. I need electric chair. Why? Why? Why is that electric chair? Because that is the most Invader Zim t- ass, I'm, hot topic girl ass, annoying ass. I'm about to fucking one up. One up. Go now. Fifth grade. <laughs> this, 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 this is this is what I'm signing in, in, in people's yearbooks. <laughs> this is I can't I can't I can't believe I'm about to share this. <laughs> this 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 will end me. I won't look at you. Will that help? <sighs> no, you have to look at me. <laughs> you want to? Okay, you have to hold my hand. Okay. This is what I signed in, in people's yearbook. <laughs> and by the way, it's before so you say bad. anything, I actually love you. I love and you no so much. What you say, what anyone else says today on the day of my daughter's wedding, <laughs> I love you. I love you on the day of my daughter's <laughs> wedding. This is what I signed. <laughs> Coolest Chinese kid in America. <laughs> Coolest Chinese kid in America, Bo and Yang. <laughs> what if I sign that in my dream? <laughs> <laughs> Isn't so that cute. A, you, that is <laughs> no, that is kisses up to heaven. No, Put the angels no, in no. a basket. That yes. is disgusting. <laughs> <It's>, <laughs> were you were there like, well, here's my question. If there were a lot of Chinese kids at the school, were they all like, hey, I'm right here? I was the only one at the school. So of course, no, I, I so my sample size was small. I was I was I was biased by my own little like my little cohort but mm-hmm. then but you you want you want to know something Say it this, is all, this is what all the kids said <laughs> Bowen it's like you are though <laughs> you're always like, totally totally and me like being so validated by all these fucking like white jocks kids. jocks well denver is like n- like none of a really Denver's, what was talk about denver okay literally <laughs> paramount no, paramount me, Meg, Patty, Love. giving them laughs, giving them, giving them, we're, we're giving them a show. Yeah. Everybody after the show, so Stoned out of high, their mind. I know. Stoned out of their mind. Like, that was an amazing <laughs> show. Like, so, like, like, bong in pocket. Is that a bong in your pocket? Or are you just happy to see me? Like, it was an amazing <laughs> show, man. And I, like, drooling high. Drooling high, but, but sweet. Sweet, but, like, guys, I'm going to say something. Okay, say it. Weed. We're gonna we're, we're gonna, gonna pump be... the brakes a little bit. <laughs> I've had to I've had to this summer. I've been it's like, for well, what virgins, am I really. I think weed's for virgins. <laughs> I mean, as someone who cannot partake because last time I smoked weed, experienced ego death of the highest order. Oh my god, I love it. <laughs> you love experiencing ego death of the highest order. Every now, like once every two years, I love doing that. I you are to... a little bit Mr. Weed, aren't you? Not. Rule of culture number seventy three five. Bone Bones Yang. a little bone yang's a little bit of weed. A little. Would you say? <laughs> tell you. Gonna tell you. I'm like stoned. Out of my mind. <laughs> I will say for myself. I was talking about weed as if I was a virgin. I kept being like, Oh, oh this goodness. is the best strain. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. This is like one of the best. You got to try the Girl you Scout cookie. <laughs> and everybody's like, Oh, edibles. We're acting like as if an edible isn't like. As potent as a crack rock. <laughs> it's one of the highest. It is the hardest drug you could take. Is a weed edible. Is a weed edible. And everybody's acting like they can drive a tractor trailer no on way. edible. No way. It's a fucking crazy <laughs> drug. Absolutely. I have hallucinated on weed edible. Girl. Girl. I told you I've been diagnosed as Jewish. <laughs> That's not. I'm not connecting those dots. I have like fully had like psychosomatic hallucinations where I was like convinced that I shit my pants on weed edible but like, oh I- I've actually <laughs> had that I'm like so there's something there there's, there's a lot <laughs> There's the, my, my center of gravity and my and my groin is off well actually because any drug and I found this out from a, a weed guy uh-huh. like you have a lot of serotonin receptors right. in your intestine or right, something right serotonin Sarah- New, that's my oh. next show after cerebellum love it love it Oh my god, the reviews are in. It's a hit. <laughs> the, um, it's so off Broadway. It hasn't even happened yet. It's so off. Pre <laughs> girlfriend, you are so not off Broadway. <laughs> we need to talk about Marianne. Keep going. Okay, okay. <laughs> no, we have to. We must. We must. Uh, oh, <laughs> oh, if Wait. a drug like is too like go crazy on your serotonin, yeah. it can make your stomach go. Do Cirque du Soleil flips in there, honey? Oh my God! Why? Why, why, why did you make me think about our? Well, we can't talk about the show. Malvet. Oh, 
So, I know. I know. People don't even know what we know. You know what I'm saying? Sarah? You guys have no idea. You guys have what... no idea. And there's there's nothing. I, I, we, I, we shouldn't even talk about it because there's something so sacred about totally. you and me totally sitting down going, what do we do? Another day at work with Nurse Jackie, more like Nurse Bowen, the way he's helping me there. Dr. House. <laughs> now, let's talk about Marianne Williamson. Yeah. Because... She is someone uh, we could all stand to be a little bit more like her, wouldn't you say? hundred percent. She diagnosed. She said, I'm sorry, there's something in the, speaking of collective unconscious, there's a river runs through the co collective unconscious that's a river of pain. And she... <laughs> Keep going. She diagnosed the problem. She did. And it is a spiritual malady that is yes. afflicting this world. <sighs> And yeah, maybe we should have the president be addressing that. There should be a Department My of Peace. My president. <laughs> yeah. Department of Peace. A hundred percent. State-mandated meditation sessions every day. Siesta. Siesta. <laughs> there, if we transition to siesta culture, we would be... It would be over for us hoes, honestly. It'd be over, it'd be over for us hoes. We would be... Everyone would be pan. <laughs> Which is something that I don't respect. <laughs> but but you would if you had siesta culture. Totally, totally. You'd be like, I'm pan, you're pan, we're all we're pan. All pan. You know oh well, I you know what? In that in a moment of panic, I conflated pan with poly. I see. And so I'm like, if we had siesta culture, would everyone be poly because everyone has so no. much goddamn time on their hands? <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> and, and that's the thing about Polly is that the, the, the secret ingredient is time. The that reason, is! Uh, the reason they all fall apart is they there is no time. Who, 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 how many hours in the day? Who among us? Who among us? Not me, certainly. Certainly. I think it's time for I don't think so, honey. Wouldn't you say, Sarah? Oh. What? I co completely forgot. Ready? Ready. Okay. okay. This is I don't think so, honey. This is where we take one minute to go off on something in culture um, that's really getting our grinding our gears, getting our goat, wouldn't you say? Oh my God, what can mine be? You'll, you'll, you'll oh, find something. Okay, I'm like, I'm like. You will. Well, Sarah, would you like to time me? Oh my God, it would be my honor. Thank you so much. This, um, this is my, I don't think so, honey. My time starts now. I don't think so, honey. Cough drops. <laughs> You don't do shit. You don't get down there to the throat. What, you're, you're just kind of like clicking and clacking around the front of my mouth and, and my teeth, but you're not reaching where you need to reach. Even these medicated lozenges are not giving the give. My throat is screaming. My tonsils are covered in pus, and there's nothing that's touching the syrup from the lozenge. I need you to reach down there, okay? My throat can handle it. Why are you so scared to get down in the deep rolling in the deep Adele style <laughs> I need you to really get in there but the reach is not reaching okay halls you're busted come up with new flavors cherry and honey have you heard of popcorn have you heard of barbecue mama I need you to step up the game because the flavors, the labs are churning out flavors, and then the halls, whoever, whoever's doing, you know, liaising between the labs and the. Oh, and, it's been a minute. I was so lost. You were so lost. That's one minute. <laughs> Do you know what I'm saying? Uh, if, 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 if you ever go, I have a sore throat, and someone says, I have a cough drop, go, what are you talking about? As someone who As someone is of who. taking vocal lessons experience, guess what they said? What they say? It doesn't touch your vocal cord. Period. It's a different tube entirely. So what are you kidding yourself? But we've all moved through this life knowing that, and we've all been kidding ourselves going, well, I guess, but it literally is, is, is in the front. It's in the front. It doesn't go down here. What are we even talking about? Fine, you just had yourself a mentholated candy, you idiot. You, you fucking, fucking piece of shit. Piece of shit. <laughs> you fucking pig Should have been piece chewing on a leaf this whole time. You, you would, make me sick. You make me sick. Throat coat? Yeah, it's throating your coat. <laughs> yeah, but what about my tons? I need I need tonsil console. And let me tell you something about vocal nebulizer. Mm -hmm. What is that? I think so, honey. Your time starts now. You what, want to be treating your vocal cords. What is it? It's a like nebulizer? a it's a it's a um saline mist that ah. hydrates your cords because nothing you swallow or drink is going where your cords are. Can you tell me something? Does does, does a steam thing help? A hundred percent, one million percent. As someone who is on tour of experience, is if someone who as someone who is of experience of being on tour, yes. 
There and that's the steam. <laughs> that's the steam. What what what, what, does, what does it do? It just like fucking. It just, gets, it just there. gets there in the way that obviously your stupid little cough drop can never. The cough drop can never, and it's supposed to like melt in my mouth and then not touch, not touch throat. It's not doing anything. It's not hitting your back wall. It's not doing anything. Rucola, not rucola. Rucola, Rucola, and it's actually dehydrating on the. I think. No, I know. L O L. That's what I was saying. No, I G B O L T. Or what's it called? I G B I I D T S H. What is it? The I just about burst out laughing. The new, the new Gen Z way of t- laughing. So you connect me to the youth. You really do. <laughs> you you know this, the the kids in the schools. No, you don't. Sarah, do you have something? I do, but I almost wonder if you've already grazed It doesn't this. matter. It doesn't matter. Because it's like, I can't even imagine someone wouldn't have popped off about this. It doesn't matter if someone already has. It's about okay. if you, if it's in your heart. This is Sarah Sherman's Sarah Squirms. I don't think so, honey. Her time starts now. I do not think for one second so, honey. QR code menus. Fuck! Ha- you're, you're, someone has to have done this already. No. Are you serious? Go, go, hey, go! I'm going to a restaurant to be gathering and connecting with the people around me. Oh. I did not come to a restaurant to sit at a table for everybody to be on their phones, looking at their screens, oh. smartphones. I don't think so, honey. They're making us dumber phones. Make you ever me sick, about dumb phones. <laughs> make me sick. Why well, make me throw up right now? I did not like the experience of, oh my God, we have, romantic lo- oh, we have romantic lighting with all these little tea light candles lighting the place. Well, now I'm seeing the harsh, garish light of an iPhone with brightness up to 100% ruining the vibe. I don't want to be on my phone anymore. That is why I am in the room with people connecting making yes. eye contact making soul contact with people <gasps> i want pen to paper i want a uh, feet to the grindstone i want bristle and mortar menus in my hands <laughs> Five seconds. i want paper media not to die out i want the print media to stay strong and i want my menu to have sauce on it and that's one minute yeah you know what i'm saying paper media is not dead we need to save it we need to save it and you know who's saving it? Willa Bennett, High Snobiety Magazine. Willa Bennett, High Snobiety Magazine. <laughs> I saw magazines in a store physically. A high snob? Yes. Stack. This is the only magazine. This is the only magazine. Condé Nast saying is this. shaking in, in its their little boobs. lacquered boots. <laughs> I. Here's. Listen. Well, listen. These QR code menus. First of all, what, what, what are we playing? Chess? What are we playing? Checkers? Checkers? What are we playing? Snake? What are we playing? Fucking. And by the way, go? people use, by the way, people use the moment of the QR code menu on their phone to then be sneakily looking at other things in text and app applications and such. And I said, this is a no phone time. This is no and phone time. And now all zone. my friends have kind of, because when you open the phone, it opens the portal. To now, all to of a sudden, hell. to hell. Oh, now all of a sudden, oh, my friend over here is doing the wordle flush today. I don't think so, honey. Your time starts now again. I go off again in four more minutes. Wordle, come on. <laughs> When's the wordle word going to be Bowen for once? For once. <laughs> May open up wordle to proper nouns. <laughs> or I'm gonna shut it down. Yeah. And what does Bowen mean as Sarah means princess in Hebrew? Well, in the way that Sarah means princess in Hebrew, <laughs> Bowen means in Celtic, son of Owen. <laughs> and you can run and tell that. And it literally means <laughs> that. Why is that making me? I just about burst out laughing. I just about. I just, I g ball. <laughs> I, I, every day I'm. That means nothing. It means nothing. <laughs> every day I'm g balling with. This girl, this girl right here. This girl is oh my God. soul food. You are my sister. My from, sister, another mister. Actually, from the same mister, if we're talking about Gio in the sky. Gio? <laughs> Gio. The Italian god, Gio. Italian, Gio. <laughs> I, love a, I love a guy named Gio. Um, do I know a guy named Gio? There's a guitarist in Muna. He's straight, oh, but he loves being. They like guys in there. They like guys in there. Oh, and there's a couple guys in the band. R- you know, kind of rolling around in there. Kind of rolling around in there. But Geo and, and Muna, lovely Geo. You know what this is making me think? I just went to Jersey City, and let me tell you, we need to be in Jersey City. Period. Period. There's Geos running around, not to be too Italian 
fetishistic. Oh my god. But Jersey is like the fucking spot. Like you have no fucking idea. Oh my god. You don't even know what hit you. I think so, honey. Your time starts now. Jersey, Jersey. slay all day. Slay all day. Get me on the damn the damn train. Path. The path. Train. Train. <laughs> you, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Jersey is there's there's, there's something, something about it. It's a je ne sais quoi. But something about I'm I'm gonna go a step further and say there's something about Sarah in Jersey. No, do you know what I mean? But I need to see you there because you're in your element there. You like basically wouldn't recognize me in Jersey because I'm like finally like oh, I'm at I'm peace. Home. <laughs> I think like there's something about the Long Island girl that just feels like I can finally take my shoes off, take I my bra know. off, and just like relax. The sick has Manhattan and Brooklyn and Queens it's and hustle bra- and bustle. It's, it's well, it's not even that. It's like it's kind of like a a, a sinkhole. And you all think you're you you all think you're all that in a bag of chips because you live here. You're nothing. You're nothing. And guess what? The people in Jersey have a fucking clue. <laughs> Period. You think you are, oh, you think you're the cat's pajam because you live near the Myrtle L. You, Ew. you idiot. You fucking idiot. These people live live where you know Tom Sharpling used to do his show. Period. Period. I don't <laughs> and, know. Lo- and love to you, Tom. Love to love and to you WFMU. Must be you must because be because there's a radio person as well. Radio guy. Everyone, check out Sarah Squirm on tour live and in the flash. Because many of you are not. But I many promise of you, you are not buying tickets, and you need to be. You need to be. This is the this is finalist behavior. If you go to <laughs> August twenty fifth, no in way Portland, you are still remembering these August twenty sixth in Your Seattle mind. at the Think Festival. Are you hydrated? September seventh. This is amazing. At the Hopscotch Music Festival in Raleigh, North Carolina, September eighth. In D.C., September 9th. In Pittsburgh, September 10th. In Philly, September 13th. In L.A. And let me tell you something about that Washington, D.C. She show. There are a lot of tickets left. I made a lot of enemies in D.C. Well, that's okay because that's it's a whole town of, you know, who's engineers on... Of who, engineers of the war Engineers of the war. <laughs> Sarah, I Sarah. love you to my core. Son of Owen. I princess love- in Jewish. <laughs> in Hebrew. In Hebrew. Princess of the disease of Jewish. <laughs> I love you. Thank I you, love you so, so much. much for coming on this show. And you know what? I think I'm going to get back together with my therapist. No! <laughs> no! We end every episode with a song. Whoa! Bye. Bye.